And as we walk into Black History Month, one of the things I did a, well, about a week ago it was, I was just, I went to Gloucester to see a man who has a rather unusual way of trying to motivate youngsters. Who does not know what beatboxing is? And you can be honest. Beatboxing is when you make drum sounds with your mouth like this. When you put it all together, hello, come on in, come this on. This is uh, Sean Morissette, a.k.a. Subliminal, uh, all the way from Toronto, Canada. My mother's from Trinidad and my father's from Grenada. My grandfather, my, my father's father, who's actually from St. Lucia, was part of a band back in the 1930s called the Harmony Kings. And the Harmony Kings were the first uh, West Indian group to ever have a major U.S. record deal out of Chicago. And uh, I'm here for Black History Month. Uh, I'm an entertainer, actor, motivational speaker, beatboxer, DJ, lyricist, producer, uh, jack of all trades. And I'm here to, uh, this month in particular, I'm here to motivate the youth uh, right across the UK, uh, focusing in on the importance of education, self-respect, and respecting others, and, and embracing uh, your, your, your difference as a person and, and, and how to move forward and tap into, and, and just open yourself up to new opportunities. And not using traditional conventional no. media. No, no, no. One thing that I did leave out is I have a degree in architecture. Uh, so I'm good at building things. And so I've put together a very unique and edutaining, that's the term I use, it's an educational and entertaining uh, series of workshops and panel discussions and talks and so forth. And I'm going to be motivating the youth to, ch to chase their dreams using my experiences in film, television, music, movies, and of course my background in architecture. Break dancing when I was little, thought it was Michael Jackson, jumped to my feet, ah, and I heard the crowd start to erupt, and I felt so good. And all the time, I'm developing this thing called self-confidence, self-confidence. What is self-confidence? You guys know what that is, right? So how did you get through so this? How did you move from architecture mm -hmm. to doing what you're doing? Um, wow. Well, I mean, um, I've always been performing since I was very young. And uh, once I graduated school, I was uh, already producing uh, theme music for the second largest radio show in, in North America. Uh, I ended up auditioning for this television show. And uh, the executive producer took a real liking to me and saw the ability that I had to act on camera. Uh, and so I began to audition for various roles. And I got aligned with an agent. And that's how I sort of entered into the, the film and television industry. I use stories from my life to motivate the youth. Um, some are comical, some are humorous, uh, some are very serious. I visited the school. This was the University of Toronto. And I walked around and I felt like I didn't really fit in. There was no black people there at all. Nobody dressed like me, nobody walked like me, nobody talked like me. Some are, are lighthearted, but, but in the end, it's inter, uh, I interweave the beatboxing uh, through aspect throughout it. And I try to engage the youth on a number of levels, given the number of things that I do. So uh, since we know we have a lot of kids that want to be actors, we've got a lot of kids that want to rap, we wanna, they want to write poetry, I like to draw correlations between music and, and paintings and art. And, and after I hit him with the beatboxing and everything, and for those who don't know what beatboxing is, by the way, that's when you make drum sounds with your mouth when you like this so we like to engage them on a number of levels so you're gonna you're gonna see quite the presentation can you learn, can you learn to beatbox before you studied architecture oh, did it happen during or after here's the here's the really really short short story i first well i don't want to give it away because these guys are listening i was six years old do we have anybody here that's six no not that young well six is really really young Okay, and so since we're here, we're being honest, you know what I mean? We're here to learn. Uh, people always ask me, how did you get into beatboxing? What prompted you to get into beatboxing? They say, was it something you heard on the radio? Was it something you heard on a record? Was it something you saw on TV? Here is the honest truth. I had a crush on this girl at recess, right? And every time this girl would walk past, in order to get her attention, I would, I, would, I would beatbox, and so I'd say, okay, I'm here, here's the competition. <clears throat> right? The beatboxing wasn't very good, okay? So, and so she walked by, and I'd... <laughs> right? And looking back, I think the reason I never got her attention was because I was spitting on her. I think that, that, that's what was happening. But 
I continued to beatbox and try and get her attention, and slowly, my friends at recess started to gather around me. And they started to say, hey, we kind of like that. It's that beatbox. Can I just come in and admit to all you guys and ask you what you thought of it? What was the message you got from it? And it's try hard enough, you can gain anything, can it? I never knew someone could go into beatboxing then, architect, then, you know, just different talents. It's amazing. It's really inspiring, basically. <laughs> yeah. I like the way he's beatboxing. I, like, I think it influenced me tonight as well. Really? God, what do you mean influenced you? I think about more stuff like it. Think about more range of stuff. How did you feel about how it went tonight? To know? Oh, man. You know what? The love out here in Gloucester, unbelievable. It was so nice to see that the youth come out as well because they were not forced to come out. It was a voluntary thing, and the love was unbelievable, not only here, but also in Bristol. And the, the turnout that we had at Colston Hall, the turnout we had today here at the library, unbelievable. And the youth, you know, the proof is in the pudding. When they, when they hang out afterwards and want to talk and answer questions and vibe with you, that means that you made that connection, and that is why I'm here. Sean Morris, a.k.a. Subliminal, at Gloucester Library, and he was also in Bristol and is going to be touring the country at the moment as part of the Black History Month celebrations. A really amazing man, and I broke one of my rules. Whenever I go off and I record something, I try and just record little nuggets, but it was so inspiring. It was so uplifting. I ended up recording the whole lot, so actually you might get another snippet of that soon. Y'all ready to get lifted? 